Hello! Welcome! We're back. It is Cool People Tuesday. We're playing some more Resident Evil Revelations. Listen, we started this game yesterday. Um, it's a Resident Evil game that was on the 3DS. Didn't realize it has like an episodic structure. So actually, I kind of don't need, hopefully, to do as much as a, of a recap. Because they do a little recap like, uh, you know, like a previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! That kind of a, you know, TV show style recap at the beginning of every uh, episode. So, since we ended at the end of an episode last time, hopefully they'll just tell us what's going on. Also, there's not a lot to the plot, so in a pinch, you know, I can, I can fill in. We're looking for Chris. Chris is looking for us. There's a boat. There's a mountain. It's pretty much all you need to know. Let's get into it. Uh, campaign. Episode 4, A Nightmare Revisited. Previously See? On Resident Evil Revelations. What happened last time? Hey, that's you, isn't it? Carrot Top was there. No, I can still fight. That's the spirit. Uh, I guess you've thought of everything, but even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. <gasps> what is the FBC up to? They blew up a city with laser beams. That's it. Looks like we both were too late. Both of you. Look. Okay, and here's some terrorist guy. And he revealed his face, but we don't know him anyway, so... Resident Evil Revelations. Nice. That really didn't tell us very much, did it? Uh, Jill came to this spooky boat with zombies on it looking for Chris, but he's not really there. It was a trick. Simultaneously, there was a, a city out on the water that got attacked by terrorists. They released a, a virus there and some zombies and stuff, and uh, it got wiped off the map with a, a, a solar beam from the satellites that's about it gotta be honest damn terrorists these bastards already it looks like you missed a few and they're on this ship and now they want to use the virus to stage another attack wait is carrot top not a bad guy why is he here? Why do his pants fit so well? All right, we're Jill again. Look at this. The whole ship's out of power. Jeez, you think? The ship's running on emergency power, but the comm system needs the main power. I see. We need to bring the engine room back online. That won't be easy. Safety procedures. Because this vessel was involved in a prior accident, safety standards that go beyond those outlined in the Maritime Safety Act have been introduced. Oh, that's nice. All crew must read and study this manual to be prepared to act in case of an emergency. Number one. The Queen Zenobia, that's the name of the ship, has two unique power generators. If the main generator should fail, the backup power generator in the bilge will compensate for its loss and supply the entire ship with operating power. This ship contains vertical and horizontal bulkheads, I don't know what a bulkhead is, but that automatically divert water in case of flooding. In the event of an emergency, the bulkheads can be operated by the control system in the bilge. The system will continue to operate even after sustaining minimal damage. Okay. So we gotta go to the bilge. Parker. Parker. We gotta go to the bilge. Uh, let's look at the map. How, am, how are we gonna get to the bilge? Oh, this map is cool. Okay. Um, please. Bilge? Bilge? Bridge? None of this is the bilge. Uh, do we have our um, destination marked? These controls are weird. Um, no. Okay. We'll just feel it out, I guess. Let me back up a little bit. I'm a little crammed in here. Frame it up. Okay. Uh, do we want to be 
using the shotgun. Let's switch to the handgun. Uh, handgun is empty, so let's keep the shotgun. Just kidding, Parker. So, hey, trees rule. What's going on? I think we gotta get to the bilge on this ship, but there might be maritime zombies on the way. Oh, it's Ring. Carrot Top is back. Take it. You might need it. What do you got for me? Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. Is it a key? Bilge! Picked up an iron acre key. Okay, we've seen doors that need this key. Oh wait, let's listen. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bilge. Okay. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FBC members here, did you? No. I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. Okay, so this is one of those classic thing where uh, multiple agencies are stepping on each other's toes. We've both sent operatives here uh, without communicating with each other. In this case, it's it's not so bad. Nobody's like undercover or anything, but um, it's a bit of a mess. Okay, head for the bilge. Shoot. So you want me to go to the casino? Let's, sorry, let's look at the map again, because now I have a destination. Uh, literally, they want me to go back around. I love that he isn't coming with you for reasons. Listen, he's a busy guy. He's, he's uh, holding this wall up over here. This is the wrong place. Wait. But that is, tr that is funny. We have, we have Parker with us. I don't know if this game was intended to be co-op or if they just always have an A AI partner just for reasons. He has to brood. True. He's got a lot to think about. Okay, we don't have super a lot of ammo. Matt Berry here is going to help us out, though. I don't think there'll be any squid zombies here, but just in case. I mean, like, right when we open the door. But just in case. Usually, though, we're finding it's better to just run past. Uh, pretty good thing there's not a lot of places for bad guys to hide down here. Jeez. Oh, and also we can use our little scanamadu. Anything? Any items hidden in the casino? Aha! Kind of just good to be able to see. Even setting aside, uh... You know, the usefulness of potentially finding hidden items. However, it would seem that there are none. Okay. Oh! Stop. Why? Why would they put an item there? Come on. Well, we got some magnum ammo. It's not classy game. I can use the breaker to restore power to the casino. Oh, let's do it. We can gamble. Hey, one dollar. Oh, they got fish. How'd they get a fish all the way up here on a boat? Casinos. Please use coins. Wait, so can I go through this door? Is it going to say... It's locked. We need to put a bunch of coins in? That's funny. Alright, this door is probably operated by quarters for some reason. I think that's my takeaway. So, I guess we got to gamble now. I need a coin to play the slots. Nobody has a quarter? I guess actually that would make sense. There would be no reason for us to be carrying loose change with us. Alright, well where's a coin? Is this really what's going to happen? This whole mission depends on us... Press the button? E yes. No! We should have known. I saw these in the video. Landfish!
Are there more? Get away from me, you! Scan him, quick! Or just kill it, whatever, that also works. Oh no, wait, good. Scan it. Nice. Oh, we got a healing item for that. Uh, just a second. I think Parker's bullets don't do very much. Final oh! Quieted down a little. He had a quarter! Or, uh, I guess it's like a casino token, maybe? Some kind of Greco-Roman coin? Oh, I can get more coins with this. Uh... One of these at home. You got one coin back. Oh, that's good. It was a quarter. Oh, was it a quarter? Oh, 25 cents. I guess it would be. Do we have to find, like... Because it says 25 cents to play, maybe? That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, my God. Gambling is so easy. Who knew? I don't have any... Yeah, we're still just using the shotgun. How many... Wait. Wait. How do I go back? What's the weight requirement? Is this a puzzle, or do we just put all of our coins on here? Alright, let's try adding one coin. Or, you know, everything. Hopefully we won't need coins again. What? Alright. Alright. I think I did this uh, in my programming class. We just need to know what the number we need is. What is that? That looks suspicious. Is it ammo? Oh, cool. Picked up a handgun ammo case. Cool. So that'll increase our maximum capacity there, which is good. How do we... I mean, we can just get a bunch of coins. I'm worried that we need, like, an exact amount. Okay, am I being dumb? Does it say here and I just don't know? Grams. Alright, let's just go gamble more, I guess. Kind of weird. There's a working one over here, right? That's enough of that. Okay, never mind. Can I... Maybe we can dial it in? Can we tell if something's too heavy or not enough? I mean, I'm obviously... missing some piece of this. Maybe, do I have, like, a, a journal? Something that's gonna... Something else in here that's going to give us a hint as to what uh, amount of coinage we need. Oh, is it because I didn't put everything in? Binary search? Do you know what it is? It's because I reserved one coin, remember? We literally just have to put everything on. I bet. Nope. Huh. Yeah, binary search would be the way, but I don't know... Alright, let's... Is there a code written down somewhere? It doesn't tell you if it's too light or too heavy. Yeah, that's the... Making it a bit tough. Maybe there's just a weight written somewhere? I think that must be what it is, yeah. Let's look around. It's not, like, inscribed on one of these machines or something weird.
Good thing those fish were carrying a coin. Look up, maybe? Yeah, let's, uh... Give it, like, one more minute, and then I'll just look it up. Instead of being stuck forever. Alright, look. Oh, I meant in the game! Oh, but that works, too. Oh, you meant literally look up. That's also a smart idea, though. Parker, I need you to think of a number. Huh. It's locked. Ma'am? Okay. I can do this. Nice. Oh, come on. That was a perfect number. Okay, what does her leg say? Casino. We're on a boat. It's a... Huh. It's... Maybe, maybe I have an item that says it and I just forgot. Nope. That's not it. Uh, communi uh, safety precautions. Communication officer's journal. Da -da -da. Bundle of coins. None of this. Seems like a clue. Genesis manual. Oh, the Genesis manual is my, um... What was that first... The first page of that long history? That's the, uh... Wasn't there a bunch of numbers there? That's a good idea. History of the Queen Zenobia. Yeah! The length, the crew, the passengers... I mean, we could try... Well, we can only go up to, like, 300 or so. 330 or something was the total... 1978? Doesn't seem like it to me. 1995. These are all years. Barker, what do you think? Any hints? Any tips? Any ideas? If I survey this... I really, I'm worried that we missed something back in, like, a previous episode of this. But they wouldn't put a piece of important information in a different room, right? They might. Because we do technically have the run of the whole ship right now. What a weird puzzle. That door's locked. There's nothing, no like hidden item to scan. We got a magnum bullet. Okay, maybe the cards tell us or something? No. Oh. I'm so dumb. Casino staff's report. I finally found out how to bypass the security on the VIP room. The room's reserved for all the high rollers, so I've always been curious what goes on there. It's so easy. All you have to do is feed coins to the casino girl next to the door and you can bypass any security. You have to hit the precise weight, 107 grams. A small price to pay for access to the VIP room. 107. We got there in the end. Ugh. Wait. I can fix this. Wait. Okay, sorry. So these are all... Let's let's find out how much each of these coins weighs. Instead of just trying to dial this in. 17, 9, and 7. Okay. I need it to be 107. Okay. 
Bam. I, there was no system. <laughs> I just guessed. Okay, we're in. More shotgun shells, good. Boy, we really worked for that one, huh? Oh, nice, custom parts. Okay, cool. If we find a uh, gun chest, we can uh, add that to our gun. Oh, and literally there's one right here. Fantastic. Custom parts, fire rate two. And critical one. Okay, so... Oh, we have a third weapon, too. Balanced weapon with average performance. It seems like a worse version of our other gun. But is that because it doesn't have any upgrades in it? Oh, man. So what if I take all of these out? And put them in the other one. So, 165, for instance. No, please. This menu is a nightmare. Um, X. LB, LB, LB. Please. Okay. That actually seems worse, no? But this is the gun we unlocked. I... The firing speed is lower? This seems like a bad gun. Oh man, I don't want to do this. Uh... F firing speed higher, everything else kind of worse, no? Even after the upgrades? Balanced weapon with average performance. So why would I ever use this? Is the firing speed just higher? Ah, oh boy. I don't know. Okay, let's not take this one. Let's get all of these off again. Okay, let's... let's. Okay, this is what we gotta do. Um, remove, 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 remove. Okay, with no upgrades, compare these. The M92F is the better gun. PC356 has room for uh, has room for more upgrades. Oh, that's the difference. So you could upgrade it more in a in a pinch. However, let's oh my god. This is so this menu's so fiddly. Okay. Uh, let's, let's stick with what we've got here. So, fire rate up. Uh, burst. Damage. And then we go back, and we also upgrade our shotgun. Again, please. And we give it, I guess, fire rate also? Critical. Cool. Mercy. That was the worst. Uh, okay. A scribbled memo. Dearest friend, I am at my wit's end. I am sorry, but I must go on ahead. They are sleeping, but they will wake me up. Uh, but they will wake up eventually. Now's my chance. Just thinking about them makes my hair stand on end. Their ugly bodies are not of this world. They're stenched like rotting organs. And their screams like echoes from hell itself. I'm so frightened that I can't stop shaking, even now as I write this. Be careful. The bloated blisters on the walls are their eggs. They can regenerate from them. Please don't- Okay, so there's gonna be spawners on the wall, I guess gauntlet style. Please don't think that I've abandoned you. I did it for my family. I will pray for your safety. Okay, so, fine. We got security footage of the casino. We got rifle ammo that we don't have room for. I guess- is this the VIP lounge? I guess we're on a cruise ship. It can't be that big. Barker, I dare you to put your tongue in the propeller. No? Okay. Sissy. Ow. Oh my god. Uh...
I mean, that's something, right? Ugh. These big wall barnacles? I don't like it. Okay, hop out. Here's the lift. Hope it still works. Same, TBH. Oh, we should have scanned those things. Oh, Parker, I made a big mistake. We'll sc we'll we'll come back. I'm sure we can scan them later. All right, let's go turn on the power. Hopefully, we won't have to fight like waves of enemies or anything silly like that. No response. Parker, it's broken. Parker, fix it. Oh my god. Okay. I'll check around here. See if it turns up. Radio yeah. If you, find it. you do that, Parker. Search for the key to the lift. We haven't seen a lot of enemies so far this episode. Although I guess we spend a lot of time running around trying to figure out how to know the number in the casino. It won't budge. There's some kind of locking mechanism. Like a lock? Okay, this seems to be a dead end. Are we going to have to go back down and uh, fight those eggs on the wall? Parker, did the key turn up? Could you imagine if we were out searching and he actually was like, Oh, I found the key, by the way. Got more custom parts. A blessing and a curse, truly. I don't think he's the NPCs are going to be that proactive in this game, but it would be cool if they were. Whoa! Yeah, I don't like that ladder either. F it. Just jump a million feet in the air. Oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Huh. I wonder where the key is supposed to be. We don't really have anything to go on. I feel weird splitting up from Parker. I mean what, now I come back out here? They're not gonna like, give me a little hint in the old, no. No, okay. Uh. Okay. Hello, Rango, what's going on? We're currently looking for um, a key, which is an activity that we do a lot in this game. Also, breaking our ankles by falling a million miles. This is the Resident Evil I remember seeing for real cheap on my 3DS as a kid. Yep, this is the one. Okay, this is bad news. Look, I don't care who you are. These wall barnacles. How long is this game about? Uh, I'm not sure. We're, it's, we, we did three episodes last time. Um, which is how it's split up, but I'm not sure how many there are total. I can't imagine that it's that long, to be honest. Parker, I couldn't find the, the key. I have no idea where to look. It could be literally anywhere on this ship. Do you have an idea? Parker. Three episodes sounds like a lot. They're quick. Uh, it's TBH. Find anything yet? I'm at a loss here. Same. No response. Wait, are those lockers? 
Maybe in there? This isn't even really a puzzle. It's just like, Lamau, you need a key. Everywhere you want to go, you gotta have a key. In terms of the story, um, basically, we're Jill. We came to this ship looking for Chris. Chris wasn't actually here, so it turns out it was all a trick. It was a setup. Whoa, 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 whoa! How come I can do this now? This is different than before. It's fine, whatever. Fine. Now we do a puzzle. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so... Oh, how am I gonna... Huh. Heh. Um, Chris is on a mountain, totally unrelated. Or seemingly. Okay. Is it like this? Is this just what I have to do? Just make a circuit? Uh, these probably need to switch. No? Oh, I'm dumb. As a kid, I always imagined it as a long and outdrawn IDK. Why? I just felt like these sorts of games were like that. Resident Evil is really just a convoluted story all over the place with many weird twists. That is my uh, experience of this game so far, yeah. Well, Resident Evil 4 we played, and I really, uh, it, it kind of, like, removed itself from a lot of that, right? Um, and it was just, like, being its own thing for most of the story, maybe right up until the end. But this one gave up on that immediately. This is like, no, 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 we're doing all of the Resident Evil stuff. There's, like, multiple international agencies fighting zombies. Like, all these characters who we don't really know that well. Alright, we're looking for... Yeah, I just pray it wasn't her. Oh, are we back at the beginning? Chris tries to kill the Ari Village protagonist? Spoilers a little bit, but that's okay. Only played Ari 4 in this? I haven't played any, but seen a bit of some. Um... Yeah! I played Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles on the Wii way back when. Come on. Be dead. It's so selfish of you to still be alive. Um, and so this, like, in terms of the, the timeline, this happens right after Resident Evil 4. So, we're, we're sort of doing them in unorder, I guess. I think this is supposed to between, be between 4 and 5. We probably should have just walked past that guy. I don't know if it was worth using the bullets on him. I swear there's one we haven't... Kind of took a lot of shotgun shells. Is anybody in the dark? Aha! Item found. Okay, let's see. I think we should just walk past these guys. Because these are just regular chump zombies, too. It's out of order. No kidding. <laughs> just juke them. Queen Zenobia. So that's where the name comes from. It's the name of the ship. Okay, yes. We are at the beginning of the game again. So we saw a lady get killed right at the beginning. Ari Village feels like it wants to be a standalone story and part of the bigger story and mixes in weird ways. We have these really weird out of or these really out of place curses and vampires for an RE game, but we're all supposed to believe this is all part of some big plan by Chris's team and like Chris is here but also his enemy or something. It's weird. By the way, Chris has showed his enemy at the start of Ari Village. Ah, oh, okay, so not such a spoiler then. Um, yeah, this one, there's a lot of coincidences, too. Like, Chris, so, we were looking for Chris, and we he had, like, his locator was on this boat or whatever, but actually he wasn't here, and the reason that we couldn't get in touch with him on the radio or whatever was because he was just on a mountain. And also, up on the mountain that he was on, it just so happened that a plane crashed there while he was there. Like, he wasn't checking out the plane crash. We were him on the mountain, 
and then the plane crashed. So I, I don't know. Oh. Duck! Duck under! Go by, go by, go by, sneak by. It's fine, that wasn't that serious. Wait. I remember this bathroom. This is the wrong way. No, it's the right way. You know what's interesting is, uh, not a lot of bathrooms have two, uh, two doors, two entrances. A little unusual. I mean, the first Ari was in a mansion, like part of village, but the mansion is more like experiments and mechanical stuff rather than literal vampires and haunted houses. Yeah, it's always got kind of like a sci-fi, like, corporate technology horror vibe to it. Go, go, go. Use a heal. We got, we got heals. It's fine. Rather save the ammo. After we did, at the end of last time, we did a boss fight, and we're just extremely running out of ammo the whole time. Uh, so would, uh... Oh, we have the key for this now. Would rather save ammo and use heals. As much as we can. Anything secret in here? Aha! If we ever get a machine gun, that will be super handy. Another... Oh! A machine gun! Cool. Let's put some uh, upgrades in it. Real quick. Custom parts. Bind one. What is... Bind do. Ups stopping power by a hundred percent. Ups firing rate by a hundred percent. So we can't put this on the machine gun though. Um, let's actually put bind on the handgun. Okay. Little bit of little bit of stuff to do. We're going to increase the damage of the machine gun maybe. How do I remove this? The oh my god the controls. Okay. Uh, increase... No, no, no. Increase... Or put bind here. So our handgun we're mostly going to use to just, like, get people out of the way. That's going to be our little idea. Um, it's a utility gun. It's not a, a killing people gun, maybe. I don't know. And then this is going to be for killing people. Cool. And probably we want to put the critical thing on, um... The other gun. On the machine gun, right? Because we get lots of shots, please. So we'll put the fire rate up on the shotgun instead. Oh my god, this menu can eat a, a whole butt. Um, and we'll put critical on machine gun. Great, good, okay. Got it. You know, the story has gotten convoluted when we have both the zombie experiment stuff by a secret bad organization. Chris's team is now a secret bad organization, but dumb and unknowable. And, like, actual curses and magic are all important to the story. You know, at this point, the zombies are not seen as a serious threat in the story and are just, like, animals in the world compared to the organization conflicts and magic stuff. I, I think there's some... We're, we're seeing some evidence of that in this game. Because, like, the zombies felt like a big deal in uh, RE4. But here, people are like, oh, yeah, by the way, there's zombies. Also, there's another city after Raccoon City that also got zombies in it and also got wiped off the face of the earth. Um... Wasn't she in here? Just in case we needed another one of those. We got two. But yeah, they were talking about the uh, the attack on that city. And they were like, oh, and there were zombies too. She's like, oh. We're in, like, we got on the ship and everybody's just like chill with the fact that there's zombies. She's like, oh, okay, there's zombies on this ship. Whatever. Just uh, very much a known quantity. Okay, it was around here. Oh no, she was here. That's the blood stain. Okay, on that window. So, she's missing though, which probably means she has also turned into a fish zombie. <gasps> she's gone! Is this the key? No clues as to who left this note. 
I was forced on this mission. I had no desire to come here for a job that could get me killed. At any rate, stage one is complete. Okay. I got the key for the freight lift. Now I can access the bilge. That's where we need to go. This ship was used as the base of operations for the terrorist attack on Terra Grigia one year ago. I found the UAV in the ship's foredeck that was used to disperse the virus. Finding the UAV was good. Getting attacked out of nowhere by an ugly monster was bad. What a sentence. I knew this mission would suck from the moment I took it. I knew this would suck. I got attacked by a monster. What a sucky thing to happen. My head feels like it's going to split open. I lost an eye already. It's hard to see. I feel like crap. Arms are starting to feel weird too. My right arm split into two. Blood all over my body. Can see my bones. Okay, why are you writing all this down? Need doctor bad. The writing is obscured by blood. <gasps> there she is! Hello. Oh, shit. Yeah. Jill, what's wrong? That lady I from before. But she's a zombie. She's a she's a hot zombie yeah, now. We moved away from caring about the experiments and why we're fighting, I guess. I mean, actually the normalization of the absurd would be a cool story if it explored that theme and it didn't take itself seriously. I think though It, it kind of has to take itself seriously, I feel like. I think the series wouldn't work if it was, uh... Sorry, is she here? If it was, like, trying to be goofy about it or whatever. Like, I think it has to be, like, really straight-faced, even as it's completely derpy. Easy. No, I'm... I'm out! I'm empty! Keep shooting her in the chest. It's the only way. Go around the corner. Where are you going? No, come back. A terrorist attack. Yeah, that seems like a priority to worry about right now. Well, they, they, they ruined a whole city. We had to. We had to blow it up with a laser beam from space, basically. She's in the docks. Go after her. She could have the key. But I guess... The are all connected. Okay. You want me to go in the I'm ducts? I'll make my way to your position soon. Okay. So she could be anywhere in the ship, is what I'm hearing. I didn't particularly mean this series, just the idea of that normalization of the apocalypse seems like a cool theme for a story. And by not serious, that doesn't necessarily mean comical, just the zombie part. Not seen as some crazy unexpected thing. I guess Fallout does this actually, in Metro to an extent. The, um... BPRD comics by Dark Horse, uh, I think do a good series on this. So there's, uh, the, the sort of Plague of Frogs plotline where... Oh, come on. Um, the world is being overrun by frog monsters, but it's, like, in the news, and, like, they have to, like, relocate their headquarters and stuff, uh, to account for it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have just walked by this guy. Um, oh, shit, I, I can't jump over those boxes for some reason. We gotta go through this door instead. Anyway, if that's a, a theme that you're interested in, and if you like comics, that would be my recommendation. BPRD. Let's be good. Yeah, they, like, relocate their headquarters from Newark to Colorado because the the frog monsters are worse in the Midwest, and it's like, oh, this would be a better base of operations for us. Just very, like, um, mundane kind of uh, concerns associated with this big apocalypse happening. Oh, she's here. Sounded interesting. Not a big comics guy? Oh, okay, fair enough. But sounds interesting. See ya! Wait. Dead man's click! How dead are you feeling? No, don't go back in the vents! Oh, we should try to scan her. Just in case we don't get a good chance to when uh, she dies.
Where is she? Shit. I can't believe she turned so quickly. This virus is more powerful than I Here thought. she comes. And away she goes. Wow, what a noob. Also, you wonder why in zombie stories, the zombies never take arms. Yeah, these guys kind of have... Weird... Bio... Gun... Arms. That shoot weird arm grappling hooks. But yeah. We need some zombies with guns. Yeah, this boss is kind of a... Well, as long as we have ammo, she's a pushover. And in fact, should we go back and grab that ammo from that other room? Since we're using mach our machine gun ammo now? Let's actually do that real quick. We'll have to dodge that dude. I think I can kill him from here with the handgun. All right. Not so bad. Is there somebody else in here with me? All right, so right in here there should be more. Hello. And away I go. See you! Very normal. Uh, let's stick with the handgun for now. And we'll swap to the machine gun if we see her again. I assume, I mean, yeah. If we're, if we're really thinking about it, she could be anywhere if she's in the vents. But in the context of this game, this being a video game, we can assume that if we keep walking back, we'll keep running into her. Shit! I forget what it's called, but I know there's a classic zombie film, which I should check out sometime, where the film doesn't really see the zombies as a threat, but more psychological, explores a sympathetic look at them as broken people. Still people, but from broken memory and thinking, stuck doing tasks they remember from their life as a form of literal remembrance and little grip on reality. I, that does sometimes come up in uh, zombie movies, that people are still kind of doing the stuff that they used to do. So, like, the the... I don't know. People are still showing up to work and everything. Are we going the right way? Hello. Ignore him. Shit. Oh, hey, Parker. Yeah, I'm fine. Here, she's here. Parker, look out. Stab her. Okay, it's a little bit close quarters. Grenade! Grenade going out! Help! I can't even see what's happening! Oh. What a cluster bomb. What a... <laughs> what a mess. We couldn't even tell what was going on there. They just dumped, like, six zombies on us in that little corner. Okay. How far back are we? Oh my god. Are you serious? Alright, we'll do it all again. Alright. I found the target, but she's a zombie. Let's try to make really good use of our... Different ammunition. Yeah. 
Oh no. Is she here? She got away. She's in the Just walk by, no worries. Okay, I'm on it. I'll make my way to your position. No, wait, this is the laundry. I keep going in there. We don't we don't need to do laundry right now. Now she's in here again? In the bathroom maybe? Right, this is the next time we saw her. Oh shit! Free me! Get ready to dodge. Wasn't there? Maybe it was in the next room. Dark Souls did that. Man, actually, Dark Souls is technically a zombie apocalypse story, but it really is sympathetic to the zombies. Because you play as the chosen undead, right? Uh, and more so our husks are on a literal lack of, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Of want to live or care. Plus, we are, uh, we are one, right. Making us understand them a lot more. Dark Souls Hollow can be seen in many different interpretations on what they mean, and even their name, Hollow, can mean a lot to them. Ah! Oh, come on. Stop leeching me! Can I get past him? Quick! Maybe we didn't need to use that heal now, but... Alright, let's go take her out. Shit. No, no. Oh. Let's make sure our handgun is loaded. Okay, so we do have the two grenades, which may be a help here. Actually, let's just poke our head in this room real quick and see if there's any uh, ammo or anything. Hello. Custom parts. And a note. Mysterious instructions. It looks like a message. It is essential that we carry out our mission as expeditiously as possible after boarding the Queen Zenobia. Our two targets will be here soon. That means us, maybe. But they must not compromise the mission. Take appropriate actions. Semicolon. Don't overreact. Number one, securing the room. Find the most accessible room in the crew's quarters and secure it. Intel indicates there could be a BOW, bioorganic weapon, activity on the ship. Act with extreme caution at all times. Two, materials. The spy props that were given are meant to be used to sow confusion among our targets. Follow the instructions for where to distribute them around the room. After that, leave the room immediately. Do not leave any traces of your presence. The main point of this mission is to mislead the targets, so it must be carried out quickly and stealthily. Ow. Can't you see I'm reading? Actually. Should we? Uh, we're fine. It's a weird thing about how Dark Souls is a zombie apocalypse of sorts. It's not what you expect when you think of... Uh, one for sure, especially considering all you, uh, you know is the ruined world, uh, all you've known is this ruined world, and unlike other zombie ruined world stories, this one is fantasy enough that you feel like you're only known, uh, you've only known that with no real point of, uh, real, I, I think this is difference. 
Right. So it's not as opposed to a world that we either know from our real lives or we see like a before and after the zombie apocalypse. We're only seeing the after in Dark Souls. Okay. Shotgun go. Okay, we're going to run into Parker. And Parker's going to say, hey Jill, what's going on? And we're going to say, Parker. Wait. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna get to the other side, Parker, and that way we can we can we can pincer move them. Where is she? Parker, we were supposed to pincer move them! Why are you on this side? Shit, 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 shit! Where is she? Okay, ready? Parker, look out for the grenade I just threw at you. Go. I'm stuck. Reload. Oh, yeah. Shit, shit. There's still more. <laughs> I oh yeah too soon. You know what? Quick scan everybody. Oh, give me a break. How many of these guys are there? Too many. Bam, we got the lift key. Although you can feel how it's ruined, the difficulty of Dark Souls reflects its world in eternal conflict, even past death. Head for the bilge. Okay. Good God. Let's go to the bilge already. Come on, Parker. Hurry up. I only have nine bullets. It's out of order. Right. Which way did we come from? Wait, Parker, I don't remember the way. Why do we want to scan them? Uh, for purely gameplay reasons. Uh, when we, if we scan enough dudes, uh, then we get healing items. There's not really an explanation for why this is the case. Um, just, you, you do. And also, if you scan around, you can find hidden items. Wait, spooky game suggestion if you can fit it into Spooktober. Luigi's Mansion 2. Ooh. I do have a, um... Is that on... No, Luigi's Mansion 3 was on Switch. That, that would be on GameCube, right? Oh my god, I just can't find my way around here. That's where we came from. So, the place we need to go to is right over there. There's the door. Okay. Um, I've got a really quick game to play after this. I want to play uh, Blood Rain, what is it called? Blood Rain Betrayal, which is like a cool little 2D vampire mighty fighty game. Um, but that's supposedly only like four hours long, so we'll probably blow through that one. And then I've got a few other things we could do afterwards, including one that would be a bit of a throwback. Um, but i got to test it out first and make sure it's all going to work. It's a neat puzzle game with unique mechanics and personality as hell with such a variety in areas. Oh, man. No, 2 is 3DS and Wii U. Okay. Oh, it was the Wii U. Man, I forgot about the Wii U. Just like Nintendo wishes we all would. <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Are these egg things going to hatch now? What I really need, Parker, is some goddamn ammo. 
because I have nine bullets, so I hope that you are ready to shoot some weird eggs on the wall, because I'm not really equipped to do this. Inserted the lift key. Oh, it's so safe now, now that we put in the key. Although, actually, that's not usually how those keys work, right? Because usually a safety key like that, uh, you put in the lock to stop the elevator from operating, I think. If I'm, like, working on the elevator, I, I put the key in to signal to other people that I they shouldn't operate it. I think that's how that would work in real life. I almost forgot the Wii U until I was typing 3DS. Can you emulate 3DS Wii U games? I haven't tried it. Um, I, I assume so. But this is... We're playing this on Steam. Um, this isn't uh, emulated. Oh, that was the end of the episode. Episode 4. Bam! It's a longer one. We got BP 2300. Don't know what BP stands for, but it's probably an A. So, normally these have been split up into, like, multiple chapters, but I guess that episode was all just one long chapter. So, interesting. So probably won't be able to fit in. Maybe. I'd have to, I mean, first I've got to figure out if I can emulate games, but also, let me look into it. Um, no, no promises made, especially since it's on like a system I, I haven't tried before. Um, and we do have other plans for the, uh, previously on Resident Evil Revelation. For the month, but, Though, in fairness, it's quite lengthy. Oh. We're equipped to infect one-fifth of the Earth's waters. Oh, right. They're going to put the virus in one-fifth of the Earth's waters. I forgot about that. Now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. Seek the truth about Terra Grecia. And vengeance. Raymond. What other games in the Spooktober? Um... I gotta test it, but... Because we were talking about it, I thought it would be interesting to uh, check out Castlevania 64 and see what that's all about. So I, I have obtained a copy of this game. Um, I can't remember. I, I got some other ones in the in Steam picked out. Why are we putting the virus in the waters? No, the, the bad terrorists want to do it. They're going to turn all the fish into evil zombie barracuda fish or something. Secrets uncovered. All right, let's uncover some secrets. Let's find out why. We don't know what they want, or what ideology they represent, or whatever. They're just bad people. Some Castlevania in general is cool. Yay! Alright, they're in the mountain airport. I'm not gonna play as these guys, am I? Why do the terrorists want zombie fish? Unknown. Because they're bad guys, I guess. I don't want to be the comic relief guys. I don't want to play as them. Sorry if I give too many suggestions. No, it's alright. Oh, it actually helps. Well, that sounds like a job for us, don't it, Grinder? Well, that sounds like a job for us, don't it, Grinder? Hey, I'm right here, Grinder. So, you follow Jessica home. You know where she lives now? Almost. I had her until the very end, but I lost her near the... Hey! You think I'm a stalker, don't you? <laughs> you said it. Come on, let's go. Alright, let's be the painfully unfunny comic relief characters. Let's do it. I'm ready. Feels like something's gonna jump out. Watch your footsteps. We need to stay quiet. Yeah, I know. All right, so here we are in the mountain hideout. Let's find out what's going on here. Got some machine gun ammo. That's good. I always find it weird when they recap cutscenes in a game. Like I literally just played through it, and it takes away from a seamless experience. Same for the credits at the end of. Uh, each chapter in MGS5. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little goofy. You the one who said to stay quiet? Well, even Homer sometimes nods off, you know? 
Hell yeah, we're playing the Chads. We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're, well, we're definitely playing some dudes. Some dudes who are probably uh, not destined to live a super long time, if I had to guess. It's locked. It's locked. There's got to be a way to open it. Okay. Man. Oh, this one's also locked. It's screwed tight. Pass me the screwdriver. Sure. Uh, huh? Uh -oh. Please don't tell me you dropped. Oh, okay, Quint, did you drop the you screwdriver again? This point. Hold up. I bet you dropped when you tripped. Why do we have comic relief characters in an RE game? Why is this a thing? IDK, it feels like a little uh, a little like a children's film, but I'm down. I, I don't know either. <laughs> we don't know these people. We don't really want to play as them. Like, Quint, where did you trip? Do you remember? What? Was it back over here? Item found. The screwdriver. Here we are. You are such a klutz. You know that. I'm sorry, Grinder. Although Grinder has like a cool, maybe like an ice axe in his backpack there. No, he's got two knives. He's got like two big machetes on his back. Or no, if those were machetes, they'd be small. He's just got two big knives. That's what's important. Um, what a hero. How's the Aqua Zombies? Uh, good! We, um... What did we do? Not very much. We went to the casino and didn't learn anything particularly new. And now we're, uh, up on the mountain as two random dudes who work for the anti-terrorist people. We don't know why we're here or what we're doing. It's just so bizarre. Already takes itself so seriously normally. Now we have literal comic relief. They're just so casual. Yeah, I don't know. These are these are the goofy guys. We might be able to open up that area that's been sealed off. They like trip and drop stuff and you know. Everyone else in the form are, uh, force are like serious. Well, outside the actual big zombies. And then we have these weirdos. Yeah. Oh look, it's plain. This is what I found from the security fees. Is this Veltro or what? Oh no! Not control the OW? Talk about a wrench in the works. Keep it together. And oh! Oh, that's why the plane crashed. It was taking off, and there were zombies on it. Places to crash at the same time as the one Chris reported. Wait, are you saying that the plane that we saw crash in the mountains is the same as the other plane that crashed in the mountains? Hey, Quinn, I'll switch the feeds. See where it goes. Huh. We got a live one here. Shh, quiet. Huh? What the hell was that? I told you to be quiet. Is somebody invisible? I don't want to have to fight invisible zombies. I don't want to have to do it. Oh. No! Oh, there's something there. I don't know what, but we can't see it. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Nasty. Hey! So do we play so anyone else? I remember as a kid the trailer showed two characters, one in the snow, one on the boat. Yeah, we're Chris when we're in the snow, usually. So we're Chris and Jessica when we were up on the mountain, and then we're Jill and, uh, what's his name, Parker, on the boat. And now these two guys. Alright, so something invisible is going to definitely kill these dudes, but presumably we got to do some stuff first before they get killed. Oh look, it's the terrorist flag. This is the place from the security feed. Oh shit. Some shotgun shells. Do I have a shotgun? Out of interest? I do actually. Oh, let's keep the shotgun ready. Let me read this whole book. It looks like a piece of a manifesto. If I was Chris, I would totally have retired by one, let alone, like, 13 games or something. For real. Destiny, and I do not mean to sound flippant, is made before we even get a say, and is the will of a higher power. 
The impure will not be cursed. It is their destiny to be torn apart by the fangs of the hounds. I cannot spare sympathy for the victims of this world. There are, they are the ones who created it. It is the same world that robbed this dog of its bite. I guess he's talking about himself. No longer will I howl. I will sharpen my fangs. No longer will I roar. I will sharpen my claws. All our comrades are waiting for the time when they may sacrifice themselves to the cause. Only the hounds are pure of purpose, and it is only they who may purge the world. We do not hunt alone. We hunt in packs. We are Veltro. Earl Brin Brinvico. Brinvico. Okay, let's take him out. All right, we already did that. Oh, some grenades here, though. And also, I assume... Oh, the scanning mechanic is... Just so tedious. <laughs> All right, handgun ammo, we got it. Just everywhere you go, look at it again, but slowly. Where are you off to, Grinder? We're supposed to be investigating here. So purging the world of the weak. Okay, comrade. Hmm, interesting choice of words. Grindr? We're supposed to be investigating here. True. Seems like a little bit of an inconsistent ideology with the. Uh, the terminology that they're using there. Uh, look at how dumb their flag is. It's a dog, like a greyhound holding a gun with a bayonet. Where are you off to, Grinder? We're supposed to be investigating. Well, what am I investigating? The implication if they're communists seems like the opposite of communism, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to let that one slide. All right, so what else am I supposed to do here? This is it, no? Take the flag? Let's take the flag. Oh, maybe there's something behind it? Give me this flag. Wait. It's the man we saw in the video. I've never seen such horrible wounds. Got killed. Where is it? it was the flag. Give me this flag. I need it for a bedspread. Honestly? If they made this as, like, a, a comforter, I mean, I wouldn't buy it, but I would respect the hell out of anybody who did. Um, wait a second, black and yellow, that's the colors of libertarian, right? Probably un unintentionally, but that does fit their ideology. They're doing it. Now I can open this door? Alright, what else do you want me to investigate? Quint? Yeah, big ol' Quint? What do you want me to, what do you want me to look at here? He was holding something? What was he holding? Where did it go? Ah! Is it this thing? You picked up the security token. Looks like a USB stick. Kinda. It's a security token. I can breach the master network of the plane's onboard computer if I can just extract the web key from this dongle. Oh, he needs the web key. Whatever that means. Just do your thing. Oh, he's a computer he man. Scavenge the data on that radar. Now you're talking. Now let's analyze the dog and the I've gun on the flag. Enough. Yes, I've yes. All right, they're they're willing to leave now. They're like, okay, the game can keep moving. Results. Oh my God, video game genius, S rank and everything. I think were there no enemies? There were no enemies. I'm glad that they gave me a grade for that. <laughs> Good. Were there no enemies? There were none, right? We never even shot the gun. S rank. Well done. Bilge passageway. Okay, we're back on the boat. Why was there ammo and stuff? Why? <laughs> What's that sound? It's just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. Does the ammo carry over Water? between... Because the yes. guns looked like they did. It's coming from there. So will I have, like, more bullets now as Jill? That would be kind of dope because we super need bullets. Nope. 
The gun representative of their humanity and advancements, and the dog represents their primal form and wants and the unity of them together. Both also signs of aggression and power in both parts. It makes sense. It's a code. Alright, so here we are in the Bilgy room. Hey, Parker. Hey, Parker. Say cheese. Click. Okay. It's locked. There's a card reader next to it. Oh my god, can you imagine needing another key? Who, who could have guessed? Who could have foreseen this? I think the handprints are just collectibles. I don't think they do anything. Oh my god. You can get the flag on Redbubble as a throw pillow if you want. It's not a bad way to go. Everything in my apartment is uh, dark blue, though, or black. I don't, I don't really have any. Although maybe some yellow would, uh, you know, add some much-needed color to the uh, to the decor. No shit. Alright, we gotta go to the engine room. I gotta find the engine room. Do you wanna... Fire rate 2? Okay, we're gonna be in and out of here real quick. All we gotta do, please, is change the fire rate 1 for fire rate 2. Wait. They're the same. Uh, okay. I guess we'll put... Does the machine gun need even more fire rate? We'll, we'll... Okay, okay, okay. Upgrade the fire rate 1, make it fire rate 2. And what the hell, just because we can, put... Oh, you can't. It's literally not allowed. Honey, what's with that pillow? It's of the great RE Revelations terrorist ideology, comrade. The true belief. It's true. I'm just... Listen... It's very important to me. <laughs> rifle ammo. I don't need that. I don't even have a rifle. Ugh, what a pain. Alright, Parker, come on. Oh, look! Oh my god, much needed ammo. Okay. Load everything up. This reminds me of RE4. Loading all the guns. Being like, oh, thank God, they've been starving us with ammo, now they're flooding us with ammo again. Time to take a moment and load all the guns. The water's getting higher. Come on, no time to lose. All right. No way is a zombie going to pop out of here. Wait, I saw it. Did you see that? Shoot! Unhand me! What up? Get on, you idiot! Try to stay out of the water? What are you talking about, Parker? It's everywhere it's water. That steam will cook me alive! I'm just imagining someone seriously loving and believing in the terrorist ideology of RE revelations. Like the people who like the Legion in Fallout uh, New Vegas, and it's funny. Like they're so underdeveloped. Maybe the revelation is that they were the good guys or something. Could you imagine? It's gonna be something dumb like that, isn't it? It's gonna be like, oh, they, they blew up the city of Terra Grigia because... Even worse things were happening there, so they had to drop the zombies on them. It was the right thing to do. Oh, is there one behind me too? Parker, could you keep it off me, please? Scan that sucker. We got a free item. Oh, we gotta get the rifle. Although, 
In this game, I feel like the rifle may not be mega useful, just because, like... They, like, the rifle was really good in RE4 over long distances, right? And when have we ever seen a long distance in this game? Like, they, it's all little cramped corridors. Which is spooky, but not a good place for a rifle. Like we found the engine room. Okay, press button. Also, think about, think about it, we're never really the good guys in RE games. We just stop the bad guys, but it often seems to overlap with uh, some other plan or want. We saved the president's daughter, kind of, in RE4. That was sort of a good thing to do. Steam pipe maintenance report. One of the covers came off of the pipes in the bilge passageway, and now there's steam pouring out of it. The steam is scalding, so you'll have to do a little workaround to get by. In the engine room, there are two levers. Use the levers to match the needle on the meter to the proper letters. This will stop the steam from spilling out of the pipe. Oh. The letters in corresponding locations are as follow. Okay, ready? A is for maintenance room, B is for upper, C is for lower. Maintenance room, upper, lower, A, B, C. Remember, if you stop the steam from leaking in one area, it will leak out the other. Keep this in mind when adjusting the needle and using... Okay. I mean, in 1 and 2, we're good as we clearly there to protect uh, from the zombie outbreak. IDK Resident Evil 4 story. It's, it's sort of unrelated. It's, um... You gotta go rescue the president's daughter, and then it turns out that, um... This is where we reset the power. Nothing's working. I'll see if I can figure this out. There's zombies. But they're weird new zombies. So go try that control panel over there. No problem. I'm on it. And that's basically it. It's pretty self-contained. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. It's not really a puzzle. Chris is kind of the good guy in 7 and Village as well. I really want to play 7. Um, it looks pretty dope. Nice. Hey, more custom parts. Alright, so this steam was turned on, but we turned it off. Now we're gonna continue the fake puzzle. Oh, nice, we got the lower interior map by uh, pulling a lever somewhere else, and then it'll tell us to go to a third place, and we'll pull the lever there. Presumably. It's a big door. Look at the size of that thing! I wonder what it's for. Hello. Ow. I guess the main characters are kind of good, but IDK, I feel weird since a big government secret service and corporation feels like it has to be dodgy in some way. I mean, the, the characters always feel like they're just way out of their depth, right? Like, they're doing a little thing in the midst of some, you know, massive global conspiracy or whatever. So even though they're, they're good guys, they're not really solving the systemic problems. Stop this. Or if they do, it's just by accident, right? Just by trying to stay alive, they happen to blow up the bad guy base or whatever. That's definitely what I feel like here. I mean, you know, here we, we came looking for Chris, and now... Now we're just walking around, basically. I guess we were... Sort of kidnapped, but... Shit! My gun was empty! Come on! Oh my god, the aim! Shit, it's still alive! Ah! 
That was a little bit harrowing. True, plus everyone we find never seems to be like nice survivors. We just meet terrorists, mad scientists, other corporations, and vampire people. Man, I would love to meet some vampire people in this game. Oh, a shock grenade, that's new. Haven't seen that before. So what's the deal? Are we gonna go in here and there's gonna be a lever to pull? It's okay. I made it. Okay. Then again, some of these zombie villages seem chill till we come. <laughs> yeah, the people in the uh, Las Plagas village in, in RE4 were just hanging out. They were they were doing fine. Till we came and ruined it all. Jeez, memo left in the engine room. Timing is needed to restore the power. Two keys must be used at the same time. Just in case, I put the restart key you know where. Know where I'm talking about? You don't. Jeez, you really need to get it in gear? Ah, it's in the big gear no thing. Oh my god. And we really need that key. Let's go back to that big gear thing. I guess we could just retrace our steps, right? Oh, we do in Village, but they all get killed by the werewolf and vampire people in the first act. But also the werewolf people seem like their own society. It's kind of like the rich woke up and killed all the peasants. Oh, that's nice. It's uh, the, the werewolf aristocracy. Rifle ammo. Can't have it. Okay. Alright, arbitrarily they're not letting me go back the way that I came. I don't think. Oh, no, wait. This is the way that I came. I'm wrong. Ignore me. I don't know anything about anything. Looks like some uh, machine gun ammo, which is good. Is this locked? There's no way I'm alone in here. I knew it! Oh, sick, it's the rifle! Change weapon? Uh... We could switch the shotgun for the rifle? Well, we should equip the... Sh I guess we'll switch the handgun for the rifle, since we don't have any handgun ammo. Picked up the AUG! Changing weapons. When you change your weapon, it will automatically be available for retrieval from any weapon box. Weapon box locations are displayed... Okay, so we can switch out again at the weapon box. Should we desire to. If I was an immortal vampire or zombie monster experiment thing, I wouldn't be a dickhead and act all weird and shit. I would just be like a normal guy still. Honestly, not a bad idea. Probably a good way to go. Where's that, uh... Rifle ammo? Is it over here? Oh, it's gone now. Cool. And this rifle ammo? Also gone. Good. Wait, is this a rifle? I don't know what guns are. I think it's a, another machine gun. Wait, so where am I going? This is right. And this is totally another machine gun. I don't know guns, so... I wonder what it's for! Can I do a puzzle? There's a cog missing! Oh, man! Where would there be a cog? Oh, first of all, we gotta get over there. Look at how there's a special illegal custom part over there. Where, if I was a cog, where would I be? Uh, we could go down there, but it's gonna be blocked. Man, everything in this game is just find another key, find another key, find another key, find another key. Let's uh, actually switch our... Well... It's fine. 
I guess by village, the main villain talks more normally, but he also acts weird. The best clip I've seen is him talking about an Ari twist, but Ethan is unrelated to Chris's group, so he's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? And someone uh, dubbed Candace and inner memes over it. Oh, you don't know who Candace is. Ha 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 ha. I don't know this one either, but I also don't know who Candace is, unfortunately. But that is funny that they... It's just like, no, I don't, I don't know what this is. Parker, do you know where the other cog is? Nothing works. I know. Do you, have you seen a cog, though? I mean, it could be anywhere. I guess probably we should... This being a video game, we should probably try to keep pushing forward, right? But we unlocked the ability to come over here. All right, let's, let's, there was a little button prompt here besides talking to him, right? Oh, no, it was just talking to him? Okay. Never mind. Cog, you say. Oh, but you know what? I get it. I know what we got to do. So check it out. Now that we've turned this one on, because there's uh, two things, right? So there's actually four settings we could have them on with two levers. The steam hasn't stopped in this room. Maybe it stopped somewhere else. Yeah, so we got to find the place where we just turned the steam off. Oh, puzzle. Where was the steam on before? Do we remember? He just kind of does stuff, and I don't think Ethan really understands most of it. Sounds like Resident Evil. Sounds about right. Okay, it's not this way. The puzzles here just feel like a lot of backtracking. It's super a lot. Yeah. Just making us go through the same areas over and over. Go find this key, go find that key, go find this key, go find that key. It's, uh, seems to be a lot of what we're doing here. Okay, so is there also scalding steam in this room? Maybe in the next one? Oh, look, there's custom parts up there. How do I have them? Huh. It sure would be cool to be a little bit taller. Okay, this is the new room. Shot grenade? Got it. Cog? Got it. At least we get to see ass along the way. I mean, uh, what? Yeah, she's uh, got some tight-fitting pants, it's true. She has the classic, like, plastic video game butt. Also, I just realized she looks like Lara Croft. Everybody in this game looks like a famous person. Uh, our friend Parker looks like Matt Berry. That one dude looks like Carrot Top. Um, there's a dude who looks exactly like Peter Falk, you know, like Columbo. For some reason, they just like made all the characters look like celebrities. This is wrong. IDK actors? Ah, okay. How do I... No, wait, this is wrong. I remember. Go back, go back! Don't take a hit. Oh, look. More rifle ammo. What an idiot. We probably didn't need those two shots, but that's fine. All right, here we go. And then we go up, we turn the switch again. Oh my god, we go back over. All no kidding. Let's try some repairs. Radio goes well. All right, you work on that, Parker. I'm going to actually do everything myself, okay? How's that sound? 
I'm fine. It's running funny you should mention that. Seems to be what this job is about. Yeah, we are kind of running around in circles, game. How weird of you to acknowledge that. But yes, that, that does seem to be the case. That door is locked, apparently. Oh, this is the rifle ammo. But we don't have a, we don't have a rifle. Right. So let's actually switch to the machine gun, I guess, just because we have the most ammo for this. But also, a, it being a machine gun, I imagine we go through it pretty quick. I like how Ethan is so angry and confused all the time. Oh, hold up. We gotta do this. Where is it? Did we kill it? Is it still in the water? Aha! He's angry and confused all the time, but it's so casual and ignores, like, losing his hand. Well, not permanently. He uses magic liquid to, like, super glue his hand back on? That's shocking. Well, yeah, in, uh... RE4, Leon is definitely, like, very nonchalant about everything that's going on. Is this right? Aha. Set cog. dun 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 dun, -dun. There's something inside! Holy crap, it's the restart key. Why did they put it there? Who designed this ship? <laughs> it's fine. I guess terrorists. Meet me in the room. Oh, good work, Parker. Okay, he actually did allegedly do something. I should be nicer to him. I'm ready to restart this, baby. Get in position. Alright, let's do this. Three, two, one. Hey! We turn the power on. Good as new. What the? Shit! We're in lockdown. Also, there's a lot of water now. All right, Parker. Uh, I guess we drown now. Uh Parker, how do we leave? We're running out of time. Damn it. Ethan feels like the most realistic. If a guy gave me a pot of liquid and said that's my daughter, I'd just I'd be just as confused. <laughs> Living daughter. Hmm hmm. <laughs> oh, the accuracy at 47%. Well, we were shooting things that were hiding in the water, in fairness. Um, and they're still gonna give us a B about it, so I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. Oh man, this game. <laughs> I, I, it's, I, it is fun, but uh, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You can dodge while reloading. This is the guy who looks like Columbo. The security token you found likely belongs to the freighter that crashed. Have you heard from Jill and Parker yet? No, not yet. Literally exact the same. The rumpled shirt and the tie and everything. We'll look at a picture right after this. That doesn't sound good. I hope they're okay. Yeah, me too. They've been out of contact too long, and I'm starting to get worried. Find Where's the comic relief? The they you found the USB drive. <laughs> crash site's just up ahead. Come on. Wouldn't it be great, Grinder, if we find the key to ending this whole mission? That'd be dope. Oh, we're being them again. Okay. for this time of night. Hold up. We got two two quick orders of business. Order business number one. Uh, let's go look at Columbo, and you'll see that he looks exactly like that dude. Um, -ba 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 we need Microsoft Edge. Come on. Edge. Wait. Uh, okay, let's go to the edge cam real quick. USB drive for what? Terrorist porn collection? Maybe that's why they want zombies. A fetish. You know what? I don't think we should judge them for it. That's the wrong window. Um, that's weird. 
it's affecting the wrong thing. That's okay. Uh, oh, did I break my computer? My my whole thing? Stop this. Is the stream broken? No. Oh my god. I think the stream was a little janky for a moment there, but we're here. Uh, this is Microsoft Edge. Holy crap. Okay, so ready? We're just going to look at Columbo. Bam. There he is. Same guy. Well, that's not a good picture. Uh, same guy. Bam. There's, there he is. He's the chief of that particular anti-terror agency. Um, killing like a fifth of the world? Nah, it's fine. Because it's sexy time. I can appreciate that. Listen, they're just, they're just out there trying to live their lives. Um, and then, why is this broken now? Oh, because the overlay came up. Okay, we're all good. We looked at Columbo. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Also, real quick, just before we move on, uh, while we're, we're paused, uh, today's featured hero uh, clicks is Aquaman. Uh, just one more thing. Exactly. Um, this, is a, this is Aquaman in honor of us being on a, a ship this whole game. Um, kind of a cool sculpt. It's him, like, leaping off of the water here. Uh, yeah, I like him a lot. This is, this particular Aquaman is not very strong. He's just 39 points, and he is today's featured hero clicks. So, now you know. Let's get back to it. Don't restart. I guess that's why they call it the Midnight Sun. Alright, it's the land of the Midnight Sun. Although, actually, I don't think that's right. Are we in, like... The Northern Hemisphere? Alright, kill the weird zombie dogs. Aquaman gets eaten by the sea zombies. Could you imagine? Although... Oh no, he's DC though, right? The uh, Marvel famously does like uh, zombies... Marvel zombies comic. Shit! They juked it! Whoa, 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 whoa! Behind me! Oh! You glitchy zombie! Or Aquaman was one of those water zombies! I wouldn't put it past him. Alright, shotguns work pretty good on dogs, it turns out. Also on the boat, why do we stay on it? If no one's manning it, can't, uh, and can't, why don't they drop the anchor and leave, then come back better prepared? So we got to the ship, oh, it's so dumb. We got to the ship and we looked for Chris and we found, like, a mannequin that was set up to look like it was him, like, you know, tied up or whatever. And then there was a, a gas that knocked us out. So we're prisoners on the ship. We're trying to get off of it. But it does seem like there would be a lot of ways to leave a boat. <laughs> but I, I don't know. You oaf. What's wrong with you? Something, I don't know. It's like something hit me. Oh, shit. What? Look, I just got hit. It was the invisible man or something. I'm sure of it. I can't find any convincing evidence that Aquaman has fought a zombie before. <gasps> Shit! Yeah, did I mention this blows? Easy. Shit! Reload! Okay, so accessible escape boats? Yeah, feels like... I don't know. I guess... And they have, like, their radios, too. I, I don't know. There's no explanation for it. Be I guess because otherwise there would be no video game. That's the, the best reasoning I can possibly come up with. Shit! Oh, we can do this! 
Oh, we hit him with our two big knives! That was actually kind of cool. The voice acting. It sounds like a kid's show. Did I mention I can't see him? It does. Oh, shit. He's behind me. And there's another one over there. I'll take this one. You get that one behind me. Where is he? Oh, sh you're supposed to get this one. After Machine for Pigs, this is quite the change up. It's good. Uh, I would never want to succeed on Twitch, so we have to be always, you know, doing drastic changes from uh, in, in the content from stream to stream. I would never want to be consistent. <laughs> Could you imagine just being good at streaming? No. All right, let's try that again. Calm down. What's wrong with you? Something. I don't know. It's like something hit me. What? Look, I just got hit. It was the invisible man or something. I'm sure of it. For real? He's a hunter. <gasps> oh no! That's one. Maybe. Where is it? Oh, can I see them with my scanner? Oh, look, a cool item. Shit. Reload. Hit him. Look, at least you didn't end up up one of those Rain World streams just endlessly streaming hunter mode high scores and killing more. big beasts in one area for ages. I honestly, I wouldn't enjoy something like that. I And I get it. I, I know why some people just play keep playing the same game, right? Because it makes perfect sense, right? If, if people, if somebody watched your stream today, the thing that they're most likely going to be interested in tomorrow is the same thing, right? On average, but... I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> Did I mention this blows? IDK if this is stupidity or bravery. Those two things often look very similar. On handling the new prototype. There will be a new prototype introduced on this mission. All mission participants are urged to use extreme caution. 1. When handling this special prototype, all instructions by the handler must be followed to the letter. 2. In the event of an emergency, follow the contingency guidelines in the Hazards and Emergencies Manual. 3. Uh, once the prototype's abilities have activated, it will be impossible to control them. The prescribed sedative must be administered every hour during transport? 4. While it is possible to control the special prototype, its behavior in the field cannot be accurately predicted. When control is no longer viable, please contact HQ on the dedicated line. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll place a call. That seems like a good fix. I get bored with the same game as well. I, I'm super that way. Even before, you know, uh, I started streaming and stuff. If anything, streaming has made me more consistent. Uh, and better at, like, actually finishing games. Um, the number of games that I've played just a little bit of... is not so good. A lot of unfinished games in the old backlog. <laughs> but in fairness, a lot of them were, like, little... You know, the the kind of stuff we play on New Game Wednesday. The, you know, little random indie games where I just wanted to get in and, like, try it out. See what the game's about. And then get out again. I don't know. I don't know. I'm rambling. Um. Cool. It looks like we're where we need to be. Oh, we gotta go through this plane. I do finish games, though, and I'm very thorough. Ugh. I'm... 
the opposite. <laughs> Use security token. Okay. Everything appears to be in working order. Yo, Quinn. It's time to do your job. Occasionally I'll get really into a game and want to do everything in it, but mm, only most games I don't play I'll past like 20 hours out. or so. No sweat. You're good with machines. The ladies on the other hand. Oh yeah, eat it, Quinn. Grinder! What's, What's up? going on? We need to contact HQ ASAP. HQ here. O'Brien speaking. What's It's Clovo. There he is. I got the coordinates on the ship. I'm As a kid, I played so much of some games for ages, especially MM with its amount of detail. Though part of that is not getting games often. I think that's real too. Yeah, the the supply of games in my life is very different from when I was a kid as well. but that would have taken too long. That's why I said nice one. Although then I, I would do like a lot of demos anything. and stuff. I don't know. We're not the only ones looking for that ship. Wait, but what are you talking about? You're saying Beltro ran from their own hideout, and now they're looking for their own ship? Luigi's Mansion Two. I also played a lot, and Lego Marvel Super Heroes. The Lego no games are good games for like uh, completionists, I think. Great. So we have no idea really who we're up against. And they're just like. Exactly. And that's a piece of the puzzle we really need. They're, they're such like cozy games to run around in and just like get to know the levels super well and stuff. I'm 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 a fan. Used to do the same with uh, Lego Star Wars a lot. Rayman Legends also, but Rayman Legends has a lot of content. Oh, I didn't know this. I've heard good things though. That's uh, episode five, Secrets Uncovered. Did they say anything important? They just said they still didn't know what's going on. There's invisible zombies now, but that seems to be it. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I may not have been paying enough attention. Hey! Cool, we'll tell you what. It's a little bit, I'm not a completionist. I just finished games and I'm thorough with exploring the area and details. Ah, okay. So you're not necessarily trying to like fill out to 100% as prescribed by the game. Um, tell you what, it's it's a, a few minutes early, but that's kind of a perfect place to leave off. Uh, so let's put a pin in it here, and we'll come back uh, in a couple days uh, on Thursday, and uh, pick up right where we left off, and we'll get a recap at the start of the episode, and it'll be moi, it'll be perfect, it'll be so ideal. Uh, so let's go to the uh, calendar real quick, just to wrap up. Bam, 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 bam. Cool! This has been Cool People Tuesday. Uh, we played some Resident Evil Revelations. We'll be back playing more of that on Thursday from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. But that's not what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be New Game Wednesday, and we're going to be checking out Stygian Rise of the Old Ones, which is kind of a little Lovecraft mythos kind of RPG um, with some maybe tactics-y battle. Uh, looks kind of cool. It's a short game, but the story is still filled with filler. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so that's what we're going to check out tomorrow. That'll also be from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. So again, if you want to see more Resident Evil Revelations, come on back Thursday. Tomorrow, New Games Wednesday, Stygian Rise of the Old Ones from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. If you watched any of this live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Uh, and if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thanks so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.